Okay, so I picked these up this morning. These are these are not for me. This is a birthday gift for a friend of mine. And I think these are hideous. It's a pair of Fila's. But I also think they're absolutely amazing. And I sort of want to buy a pair of these in my size. Look how sick these are. I don't even know if they make these in men's sizes. I doubt they make these in men's sizes. But Fila, if you somehow watch this video by any chance and you have a size 12 men's of these, please send them to me. I mean, they were only $50 too. These, these have to be one of the coolest looking shoes I've ever seen, but also sort of hideous at the exact same time. So yeah, I picked up these Fila's for $50 Canadian. That's like, I don't know, 37 US, absolutely amazing price. They're not for me, it's a birthday gift, so we don't care about these today. It got me thinking though, I spent hundreds of dollars on shoes all the time. These ones are freaking $339 after tax. I mean, they're nice, but that's ridiculous. So I started thinking, I'm like, what can I buy for cheap? I buy expensive shoes all the time. I've bought the cheapest sneakers from every brand, except those were really cheap and honestly not the coolest. So I thought today, let's take a hundred bucks, go hit up like every single store I can think of and just see what the best sneakers we can find for a hundred dollars is. This is the ultimate $100 sneaker challenge. I mean, maybe there's been like a better one and maybe there's one that's a little bit cooler than this, but in my mind, this is the best one. So we are in Friday nights. You guys completely redid the store. Well, yeah, we mixed it up a little bit. This is sick. New cabinet, Keymaster's in a new spot. They got a whole bunch of new pieces in store. So come through, check it out. Eric, um, I'm not here for the Keymaster though. I'm not here for the new cabinet, although it is lovely. I have one question for you. I have one answer for you. What's the best place to get a pair of shoes for $100 or under? Uh, the thrift? stop was Foot Locker. I'm not sure what they're gonna have in terms of a hundred dollars, but they'll probably have something. In fact, actually I'm seeing something right now. We have a pair of Kyrie Lowe's. I'm not exactly sure which model this is. Maybe the Kyrie 4 Low, or maybe it's like a Kyrie Low exclusive model. I honestly don't know, but they're on sale for $99.99 in this floral print. I actually really do like how these look. I love the floral print on them. I haven't played in these, so I have no idea, but I mean I've played in the Kyrie 4s, not these ones but it's probably a pretty good basketball shoe. Uh, let's see what else they have. Ooh, we have these as well. Uh, these are the Nike Hirachi Edge textile in white and red. I really, really like these. The green's cool, the red is cool, the white mesh is pretty sick as well. And uh, down here, this is under 100 US as well because this is all in Canadian prices, the Hirachi basketball, or Hirachi trainer, sorry. This is not the basketball one, this is the trainer one for 119.99, which is, I don't know, maybe $92, $95 US, something like that. So these are also under 100, not a huge fan of the colorway. And then lastly, swinging over here, we have the Forrest Gump Cortez for 90 Canadian. So let's say maybe 68, 70 US, somewhere around there. These are pretty cool as well. Of course, always a classic, the Forrest Gump colorway, the Cortez. To be honest, I really don't like these. Oh, okay, lastly, this is pretty cool as well. You guys remember the Air Max 90 Independence Days? Well, they've sort of mimicked it with an all red colorway here. There's no flag on the front. It has nothing to do with the original Independence Day Air Max 90s, but it is an all red pair. The Independence Days used to go for like 800 and these are going for 135 Canadian, so just like slightly over 100 US, so we're not gonna be able to buy these. In fact, I probably wouldn't buy these ever because I'm not trying to get stabbed, especially wearing this hoodie but they look pretty nice. All right, the next stop we are in is Winners, which is basically like the Canadian Marshalls, and they have a whole bunch of discounted shoes on racks here. No shoe boxes or anything. They usually have some good stuff here, and when they do have good stuff here, I mean, I bought shoes here for 30 bucks, so they're definitely all gonna be under 100. Ooh, wow, this is um interesting. We have an all-over paint splatter Puma Sugi Shinsei, I believe, is the name of these. 
I sort of like these in a way. I really like that Oliver cookies and cream look. Although, I mean, I would never buy these. $69.99, pretty good price. I, don't, I, I like the red bottom. I like the paint splatter. Something about these just looks off to me, though. Yeah, I am not really seeing too much as of right now. We have a pair of uh, these Nike Flyknit runners. These are, I mean, they're all right. They are going for $79.99, so like $62, $63 US in a bright orange and blue New York Knicks type colorway. Once again, I mean, they're all right. They're just not as good as I think we can find. Okay, getting slightly better. This is probably the best one that they have in here. The Nike Flyknit Racer for $79.99 in this cold blue with navy swoosh and black bottom. I mean, these are pretty fresh. I dig these. These are cool. But once again, I'm pretty sure we can do better. Now at this point I was about to leave the store, an employee walked past me, really nice lady, and asked if she could help me out with anything, and just, just off a whim, I was like, yeah, actually, do you guys have any shoes that you haven't put out on the shelf yet? So she went to go check, and she came back, and oh my goodness, yeah, they did. Alright, so I found a pair of shoes in Winners, and Oh my goodness, aren't they nice? We'll be taking a look at those in just a minute. First, I want to see if we can get a second pair as well, because I mean, one pair is nice, but if we can get two pairs and see which one's better, get you guys to decide, I think that's even better. I'm gonna do a quick little bit of a search on Facebook groups and local groups to buy and sell sneakers. See if we can find anything for a hundred bucks. See if I can pick up anything this afternoon. And uh, if I do find something, I'll get back to you guys in a few hours. So we have not one, but two pairs of shoes. We did some searching, went to some stores, did some online searching, and I came up with two pairs of shoes. Let's start with the one that I got at Winners first. Now this is a little tip that I've heard before that works, but I've never actually done it. I just asked one of the employers, I was like, hey, do you have any more shoes in the back that you haven't put out on the shelf yet? I went like first thing in the morning, so I thought they might have some new stock, and yeah, they did. Look what we freaking got. The lady brought these out. She brought like, I mean, she brought 10 pairs of shoes out, and most of them were garbage, but she brought these out, and she was like, oh, I mean, do you like any of these? And I saw these immediately, and I was like, what is the price supposed to be on these? 99.99 Canadian, so 75 US, give or take for these, Jordan 4 Motorsports. Now they've been unlaced and there's no box, unfortunately. There's like some creasing on the toe box and all that stuff. So they're definitely not like brand new, brand new. I mean, it is a new store. They're not a worn or used pair of shoes, but they've dealt with some damage and someone has tried them on somewhere before. But for $99 for a pair of Jordan Retros, I could not pass these up. We got these right here. Seriously, go to your local winners if you're in Canada, or if you live in the States, go to Marshalls, go to Ross, and just nicely ask an employee if they have any more shoes sitting in the back that they haven't put out on the shelf yet because that is how I got these and I'd assume they have these at some other winners locations somewhere in Canada as well. Oh my goodness, what a great price. This just goes to show you, you can get some freaking good deals. You don't have to spend a ton of money. You don't have to spend $340 for a pair of Yeezys. You don't have to spend $400 for a pair of hyped up Jordan 1s. You could spend a hundred bucks and yeah, these aren't hyped, these aren't super exclusive, these aren't hard to find, except this is a sick pair of Jordan 4s that's gonna last you a long time and look nice, especially in an all black colorway. Like this is gonna last and really give you some wear and some time to enjoy them for a hundred dollars but I had to buy these for the video and the other ones are a size 11 which is just a tiny bit too small 11 and a half I would have made this work I'm regularly a size 12 let's take a look at the other ones that we got yeah yep they're not the high tops and they didn't come with the box and they're, they're pretty worn I mean like not crazy worn but yeah we got these for 100 US even. I paid 125 Canadian, he wanted 140, talked him down to 125. I straight up told him the video idea that I was doing. I was like, Doc, I'm trying to do a video where I buy shoes for $100 and under, so I can't pay 140. I can do 125 and meet you this afternoon though. And he was like, yeah, sure, I can meet you this afternoon. If you're doing the video, I understand. He didn't really understand what I was talking about, to be fair, he was confused. He was like, so you're doing a video about buying shoes? And I was like, yeah, it's sort of my full-time job. And he was like, Oh, cool, I, I, 
I guess, for shoes from him for a hundred dollars smack dab on the nose. Oh my goodness, I have a pair of these already. I don't know where they are. I couldn't find them in my closet. I was trying to compare them. They might be downstairs. I have some more shoes downstairs as well. Are gorgeous though. The Chicago Jordan 1 Low, and what I really love about the Jordan 1 Low is they made the swoosh different. The swoosh looks more old school. It's more of a big, fat-bellied scoop swoosh. I know that terminology might make no sense because I completely made it up right now, except we're going with it. It is a fat-bellied scoop swoosh instead of your regular Nike check mark and I think it looks amazing. The leather quality is hit and miss on these. Like the white is really, really good, but the red is complete trash. Like the red and black leather on this is complete trash. In fact, this stuff at the back, I guarantee you this is not leather and this is straight up just vinyl or some sort of other plastic material. But these look amazing on feet. They look really, really nice. And uh, just taking a closer look at them, I mean, it is a classic colorway of an awesome shoe. I didn't think we were gonna get anything near this good for the price that we were paying for these shoes. I thought we were just gonna get crap. I thought we weren't gonna get anything cool, but we got some freaking cool stuff. I'm excited that I was able to get these shoes as well. And I'm sure if I spent some more time, like if I spent a week searching for every single shoe I could get for under $100, we would have some gems that I could show for you guys. But for a day's work, for spending four or five hours searching around, looking online, going to a few stores and looking at what they had, I mean, they had some great stuff at Foot Locker too, if you guys are interested in that stuff as well. So overall, I think we did a great job. I think we found some really cool sneakers. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I appreciate every single one of you guys. You're my favorite people on earth. If you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Tom Stefanik. I post a bunch of stuff over there. Instagram pictures on my story, keeping you guys updated with what's coming on the channel, letting you guys know when I post a new video. That being said, actually, make sure to turn on post notifications as well. Click that bell button so you know every single time I post a new video. And if you're still watching at this point in the video, make sure to just give Steven a daily reminder that we don't know why he's here. Like seriously, Steven, why? Mm -hmm.